Hello friends! This week we're doing a review of the Shadowscapes Tarot, and also going to do a reading with it. This is one of the decks I have owned, um, at this point, I think it's been five, four or five years that I've owned this deck, and I have found it is one of the ones I turn to the most. So we'll get right into it. First off, comes in a very sturdy box, which I greatly appreciate. It has a booklet with uh, full art of each of the cards, in addition to a usually full page, sometimes two pages worth of information about each card. One of the reasons I really like this deck is it has an interesting mixture of both Asiatic and Celtic symbolism in it. So we're going to start by just doing a reading. Kind of using these tarot reviews also as a like monthly check-in as I've been doing tarot readings. I haven't been doing the reading necessarily on screen every time, but I think I'm going to start doing that regularly. Okay, we're going to do... I think we're going to do a five spread. That's a lot of reversed cards. Okay, so the first card, so in a five card arc, the way that I do them, you have the events that were rose to the current situation, or that built to the energy, and then what's gonna bring it back down to essentially baseline. What What's elevated at the moment in the life. So the first card is double reversed. So devil is usually all of the the temptation. What what about your own desires is enslaving you? Being reversed means I've let go of them, they've been released. Ace of Wands reversed. Ace of Wands is usually the beginning of an intellectual journey. It's the suit in this deck of particularly earthy fire, so like autumnal fire. Because you know how there's a difference between a fire in winter and a fire in in autumn. They feel different. The the colors are very autumn themed in in the suit of wands. Seven of Pentacles reversed, which in this deck I'll probably need to do a, a close-up. Shows a dryad-like figure examining fruit on a tree. And because my brain is just absolutely fried, I'm going to look at this real fast. It is the current energy. It's don't begin anything new. You're, you've got enough on your plate. Normally I don't need the book. It's just today my brain is not. The reason this is being released late is I've been dealing with rodent problems. And so I was awake late last night uh, <laughs> rodent proofing the house. Um, Oh, 
Okay. There we go. Um, choices. Is it time to harvest? Or does it need a little more time? That is the, the peak energy at the moment. We need to consider what that's in reference to. Nine of Wands reversed. Nine of Wands is normally very active energy. You're nearing completion of, of an intellectual effort. It's interesting that it's paired, at least in energy height, of the Ace of Wands. So the, the beginning has happened. We're not quite to resolution. I could harvest now, but I could also wait. Uh, and then the last card is the Two of Wands, which would be the resolution of this spread, because we've gone up the arch and then back down. Looking out over the horizons, considering what is still there to learn. I wonder what else they chose to add to this. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Be bold. Make a decision. Step into your personal power. Interesting that these are the cards that came up right now. There were definitely a lot of things that were holding me back of my own choice, and I have left those situations, which is good. Which led to the beginning of a new journey, which is the Ace of Wands, and then I need to decide what I'm actually aiming to get right now. Because I've had a lot of things in the works, some of which will come to fruition on this channel, some will be elsewhere. Yeah, I'm definitely going to need to think about this. Now for the review portion. The artwork in this deck is not, I would not say is so linear as many other decks I have used in the past. There is a lot of nuance in these cards. And just taking the accepted meaning for each card does not necessarily work with this deck. This is very much a deck of dreams. It's full of fake creatures. It is... It poses as many questions as it answers, which I like. I prefer decks that are a little more contemplative rather than that just beat me over the head with an answer. The art is all very vibrant in its colors. While they are more muted pastel -y type, there's still a lot of vibrance to them. Each suit is easily recognizable, in addition to having the name of each card underneath. There are clear themes in each deck, in each suit. So, for example, wands, many of the cards of wands have boxes in them. They've all got this swirling golden light in them. Uh, pentacles has a lot of green earth tones. Cups naturally has a lot of water and are very aquatic. Um, Cups is full of merfolk. And the Major Arcana all have a very purpley blue in, in them that make it very obvious which ones are are in the Major Arcana. Well, I shouldn't say all, most. Because Judgment doesn't have that, that purple and blue. And the backside is, is lovely. For Cohesion, this is a very cohesive deck. Each of the cards feels like it just blends and rolls into the next one without any jarring distractions. As I said, the book is very thorough, it's very precise. I shouldn't say precise, it's very... It, it has full pages of the art of each card, 
and many of them also have little poems attached, at least for the major arcana. There is a lot of storytelling in this in this book, and unfortunately, because my brain is just fried, I think that's what I'm able to say today. And sorry, it's being released late and with like no editing whatsoever, other than cutting out long pauses as my brain uh, caught up. Thank you for for hanging out and. and Sticking around. Those of you who have. Till next time. Walk in the light.